dear all i would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of digital signal processing so in this video i am going to give you the complete notes on module number 1 within 5 to 10 minutes if you observe this video and practice you can complete your module 1 within half an hour to one hour so that's all so that is the video package which i uh, like uh, putting forward in front of you for the quick like a quick study okay so no need to invest huge amount of time and you have to no, not required for clearing the examination and getting good score in the competitive examination so what you can do you just focus on this video i promise you that at the end of this video you are able to get complete idea about module 1 that is actually the introduction module 1 is introduction to signal uh, signal processing you will be studying about uh, like uh, different types of signal so definition of signals types of system and uh, the comparison between Uh, continuous and discrete time signals then you are going to learn about like uh, discrete time systems analysis of discrete time time system and you will be talking about the convolution those things you are going to learn in module 1 it is very very basics all right so what you can do you please listen me first then uh, i'll be putting some important questions which is already repeated and there are chances of asking the same question in the upcoming examination the first part portion i would like to suggest you study the definition of signal you may get a question like what is a signal it is a function that convey the information speed signal ecg signal video signals are the examples what do you mean by system a device or process that transform the input signal to an output signal the examples of systems amplifier filter etc the brief classification of signals are given below we can broadly classify the signals into continuous time signal and a discrete time signal continuous time signals are periodic as well as aperiodic if i talk about the discrete time signal it is going to divide into even or odd signal then energy and power signal so these are the basic information about the definition of signal and system and classification while talking about more on classification you need to talk about continuous time signal it is defined for all the values for example sin 2 pi pi t this is one of the example of continuous time signal when i talk about discrete time signal it is defined only for the discrete time instant so continuous time signal focused on all the values of time where discrete time signal focus only at discrete time instant if i talk about discrete time instant in the sense x of n for example uh, x of n equal to cos pi n okay i hope you understood periodic and aperiodic signal repeats uh, like periodic signal repeats where aperiodic signal does not repeat if i talk about like a deterministic signal it is predictable signal where random signal is unpredictable signal okay random signal is mapped into unpredictable signal if i talk about energy signal uh, it is a finite uh, finite energy zero average power that is a peculiarity of energy signal if i talk about the power signal it is finite power but infinite energy this is very very important for competitive examination and you may get uh, the same question in the university examination so even and odd signal you, uh, like uh, even it follows symmetry property based on the symmetry property so you, you have to put x of n x of n is equal to like the value of x of n x of minus n is equal to x of n x of minus n is equal to minus x of n okay so you you have to use x of uh, x of minus n okay this is x of n. even signal x of uh, minus n can be written as minus of x of n for odd signal that point you have to remember okay so you can uh, ex give the example for sin and cos uh, then uh, sin is even function you can say cos you can also put even uh, real and complex signal also another example so delta delta of n u of n see these are the different types of signals you might have seen then uh, if i talk about like elementary discrete time signal you have to study about unit impulse signal delta delta n which is shown here this is my unit impulse signal delta n unit step signal u of n as you can see this is my u of n similarly ramp uh, like ramp signal n into u of n that you can see this is my ramp signal okay ramp ramp means you can see the uh, straight straight line you can see exponential a to the power n into u of n sinusoidal signal cos omega n sin omega n these are the basic elementary uh, discrete time signal study the waveform which i shown there then frequency concept uh, like a sinusoidal time signal x of t that can be written as a cos 2 pi ft plus 5 similarly discrete time sinusoidal signal can be written as x of n is equal to a cos omega n plus pi that you please focus discrete time sinusoidal signal and continuous time sinusoidal signal normalized the frequency can be written as omega divided by 2 pi periodic if omega by 2 pi for example rational number it become rational number 
So please make, make on the concept of frequency. Then aliasing. Different frequencies may not appear in the same display signal. That uh, effect is known as aliasing effect. Okay, all the frequency components may not be appear in the same discrete signal. So this is a basic uh, frequency concept. So the time signal you need to convert into frequency. Okay, to, for the better analysis, it is better to convert into frequency. So discrete time system is nothing but it maps input X of N into output Y of N. That is called a discrete time system. There are different classification of discrete time systems such as linear or non-linear, time invariant, time variant, like a causal and a non-causal system, stable system and unstable system, static and a dynamic system. So if I talk about like a linear time invariant system, it is characterized completely by impulse response H of N. Such kind of systems are known as linear time invariant system or short form we call like a LTA. It may ask in the examination. So for example, you can see the convolution. What is convolution? So y of n can be written as sigma k minus infinity to infinity x of k into h of n minus k because you are going to add the impulse response term. So this is actually called a convolution. Okay. So graphically you can represent the convolution in this particular format. Okay. So you, are, you can mix the two signal. You can add the two signal by using the convolution. You can combine two, join two signals. For pro properties of LTA, what are the properties of linear time invariant system? It follows linearity. It follows time invariance. It, it is uh, like a follow uh, causal, causality and uh, it follows stability. There are important questions which uh, I would like to suggest you to read before going for the examination. Uh, define and classify the signals with example. Signal is a function which carries the, uh, like a function that carries the information. Uh, classification, uh, continuous time and discrete time signal, x of t is equal to sine 2 pi, uh, 2 pi t, where uh, discrete time signal x of n is equal to delta of n. Similarly, periodic signal cos pi n, a periodic signal e to the power n. Uh, then even signal cos pi n, odd signal uh, sin, uh, sin pi n. Okay, that means you can put the value. See, even cos pi n, uh, like a uh, uh, odd signal sin pi n. Energy signal delta of n, power signal sin pi n. Deterministic mathematically uh, known random signal is a basically noise. Okay. Second question, define system, classify the discrete system with the examples. System is a process mapping uh, which maps input to output. We have classification linear, that is y of n is equal to 2 pi x of n. Non-linear, uh, y of n is equal to x of n the whole square. Time invariant system, delay in and delay out. There will be a delay, uh, that is actually uh, like a delay, delay out, okay, delay in and delay out. Uh, then time invariant, there is a time like a, uh, vary like a, uh, with respect to the like uh, we can say variation the delay in and delay out. Causal depends on past and present input. Where non causal does not depends on like uh, the uh, violate the condition. Okay, causal system depends on only on past and present input. Stable what is stable system? Uh, it follows B I B O condition, B B O condition, bounded input, bounded output. Unstable it will violate the condition. Same that of previous. So what are elementary uh, like a discrete time signal? Example, unit impulse delta of n is equal to delta of zero that is equal to zero. Otherwise, it value will become zero. That is called the unit impulse signal. Unit step signal u of n is equal to one uh, for n greater than or is equal to zero. Else, the value will be zero. Ram signal r of n is equal to n into u of n. Exponential signal that is nothing but a to the power n into u of n. Sinusoidal signal that the cos omega and sin omega and the, the, all are comes under uh, like a periodic signal, like a sinusoidal signal. These are the different elementary signals. It is better to draw the diagram as well. And the, next is the find energy and power of unit step signal U of n. That is very important. So first of all, like uh, uh, you should know about what is the energy and the power signal, which I already mentioned you. See, look at this energy signal. Uh, it is very simple. Energy signal, finite energy, zero average power, where power signal having uh, finite power and infinite energy. Same thing we'll apply over there. So what, what happens? You can check out, see, uh, energy signal, you can use the definition. Please use the definition, minus uh, n minus n, n minus infinity to infinity, u of n the whole square. That is equal to uh, like infinity. This is not energy signal. Okay. And that... Uh, we can say unit step signal is not an energy signal. If I talk about the power signal, limit n to the power infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 into sigma n to the power minus n to n u of n the whole square. That is equal to 1. Unit uh, step is a power signal. Unit step is not an energy signal. So, so we can say this is my like energy signal and we have the power signal. So unit step is a power signal that you have to remember.
I hope you understood and you can convince the examiner better. Explain the convolution uh, sum for linear time invariant system. For input x of n and you know, like impulse response h of n, uh, the convolution can be written as uh, y of n. That is the convolution, right? So we, we require to like uh, x of n and h of n. h of n is the impulse signal, x of n is the input. And then convolution can be written as minus uh, infinity to infinity x of k h into h, uh, h of n minus k. That is the definition of convolution. Now, based on the same equation, what you can do, x of n is equal to 1, 2, h of n is equal to 1, but therefore, convolution will be uh, like 1, 3, 2. That is the result. So, kindly follow up this. Definitely, this kind of questions will be asked in the examination. Another important question is, condition for uh, discrete time sinusoidal to be periodic. So, x of n is equal to cos, and, uh, cos omega n e periodic, if and only if omega by 2 pi is equal to p by q, where uh, p q belong to z. So, fundamental period n is equal to q. Those points you have to remember. So, how to like uh, study the module 1 effectively? Learn signal types and examples. Understand the discrete time signal and classification and its property. And uh, so, master in linear time invariant system. Convolution with a few problems which I mentioned. If I want, I can make a separate problem session. So, this is more than sufficient for exam preparation. Okay. So, I prepare the video typically for the exam preparation. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any queries, do let me know. Kindly subscribe our channel for getting the similar kind of video. Also, kindly like the video if you found it is useful. Even I request everybody to share this video with the stakeholders. Uh, let the people, uh, those who are studying and teaching DSP, let them get benefited. Kindly give your valuable comments for the better men. Happy learning. I wish you all the very best for your examination. Prepare well and uh, you can clear the competitive examination as well. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. Wish you all the very best for your examination. Have a great day.